What is going on guys, RealTouchGML here back with another Java game development tutorial. And today we're going to be getting into how to actually animate your players or, you know, yeah, just have an animation. So if you want like a running animation and you're making a platforming game, this is how you would do it. Now of course this is not the only way and uh, what I did is I went ahead and made an extra class that I'm going to put in the description, okay? So there's going to be a download link to that. Uh, so go ahead it's just gonna be a text file with all of this stuff here and basically just download this and create a class animation.java and then just copy and paste that text file everything that's in that text file into your class here okay so uh yeah this right here supports up to 14 frame animation okay so if you have more than 14 frame animation Talk to me and I may make a tutorial that will show you how to extend this if you'd like. Okay, so uh, yeah, so go ahead and just copy that, paste it, and we're good to go. So what I did in the sprite sheet here is as you can see, I made a bunch of new images that are the same thing, and this is just gonna be the animation stuff. Okay, so you have the rock, uh, the spaceship that like shoots fire out, the, uh, the bullet that is like kinda like spreads particles away and then the player that shoots fire out it gives more realistic sort of sort of feel okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hop into the textures class and here you see we have public buffer image player missile and enemy now what we're gonna do is we're actually going to erase these and we're going to make them into arrays so public buffer image and then how to make an array, you just go ahead and put these two brackets there. We're going to say equals new buffered image. And since we have a three frame animation, we'll say three. Okay, we'll copy that. Paste it two more times. So we'll do the same thing for the missile and the enemy. Since they all have three frame animations. <clears throat> so now we go down here. And we say player zero is that. Copy that three more times. So one, two. So we said three up here because that's that's a three. There's three uh, buffered images in that array. Now it starts at zero though, so you're you're gonna go up to two. Okay, so then we're just doing two and three because right now, uh, if you know from the spreadsheet tutorial, this will just crop out this image, this image, and this image. Okay, and now let's just say zero here. Let's space that up a little bit more. Copy and paste it. So two and three, and then for our enemy, and also I need to uh, do that for our enemy as well. One and two. There we go, and there you have it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're getting errors in here because we just have text player, but we're gonna change all of that But now basically we've just gotten every image from our sprite sheet. We've collected all of our images from our sprite sheet And now we're gonna animate So go into your player here Go in the top and we're gonna create a new animation. So I'm gonna say animation and we'll just say Anim we'll call it anim equals new animation Okay you know what actually just just create it now because we're gonna be using the textures and if we create it up here then we're not going to be able to um, then we're not going to be able to why is this uh, not okay here we go okay sorry about that then, uh, okay, so if we if we initialize it and create it up here, we're going to be using from the textures, and textures isn't initialized till down here, so we need to initialize it below when we create our textures. So anim equals new animation, and here is where you're going to put in all of your. If you look into the animation class alone, this is where you're going to put in the speed and all of your images. So the speed of the animation, I'll just say five for now. We can adjust it. And then I'm gonna say text.player zero, text.player 
one text.player two. Save that. And now you have actually initialized an animation. So if we go ahead and run it, and okay, we'll just say there's zero. We're just gonna do this real quick just to sort of so we can test it. Okay, so if we run it now, as you can see, we're not getting an animation. Okay, there's no fire, there's no nothing going on. But what we have to do to actually run the animation is first off in the tick method, just say anim dot run animation. Okay, so this is gonna be cycling through all the frames. And then instead of g dot draw image, we're gonna say anim dot draw animation, g, x, y, and the offset is zero. So now if we ran it, as you can see, look at that. We now have an animation, uh, and it's kind of a bad animation, but there you go. It, it loops through all the frames, and it just keeps going and going and going. So if you wanted that speed to increase, you wanted that speed to be faster, then you would put this number down. So say 1. As you can see, now, now it's increased a lot. I actually like 5, so we're going to do 5. Okay, so now I'm just going to quickly do that for the rest of our stuff. So let's say animation anim anim equals new animation five text dot so zero text the style one and text dot the style two. And then we can run it. And then let's draw it. There we go. And then let's just do it for the enemy real quick. <coughs> Animation. Anim again. And it doesn't need to be called Anim. That's just what I name it. So you can name it whatever you'd like. So basically, I'm not really showing you guys anything new here. I'm just copying what I just showed you in the beginning. X, Y, 0. And the offset, basically the offset, if you wanted it, uh, say some animation is weird where you have it like off-centered a little bit, you could say the offset to 10, and it'll move that the entire image uh, to 10. So that's like the same thing as saying X minus 10. Now if we ran it, Uh, let's see. It doesn't actually look like the enemy is working. Okay, sorry about that. I forgot to. These were all ones, and I had to put two, three. So they were. It was working, but it had the same image. So as you can see now, it's working, and the bullet is a little fast. So you can't really see the animation there, but it does work. So now we have animations, which is pretty awesome. And that just makes our game 10 times better than it was before. So go leave a like, go and subscribe. Let's try for 30 likes this time. I hope we can get there, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.